Hey, it's Richard with Orcasat Computing. I just wanted to share a quick video and show you guys um, some of the most important buttons in Code Composer for debugging and things like that. And a really important workaround uh, when you're using the launchpad. So this is a continuation. I'm right where I was when I started or when I ended the previous video. So we've just flashed code to the board. We can confirm that it's working and blinking and all that. Um, but now we actually want to go debug something. So how do you do that? Well, the first step you need to do is pause the code execution. So I'm actually paused right now, but if I were running, um, I can see the board is blinking on my desk here. Uh, you need to hit the pause button up there and that'll just stop you wherever you happen to be in the code. Um, so you can see we're at the top of this while loop, which means that the RTOS is running something. Now we can start doing things like inserting breakpoints. So you can just do that by right, uh, or sorry, double clicking on the, uh, on the blue like sidebar thing there. Now normally, what you would do now is if you're paused and assuming your breakpoint is something that you wouldn't end up hitting again, uh, so like this startup stuff, which only ends up running once, um, we would want to reset the board. That's great, except if you reset uh, using these two buttons here, usually need to do a CPU reset and then a, uh, a restart, and that would take you to the top of main, you will most likely get a data abort. And I guess I'll show you what that looks like. So I'll, I'll get running, or, sorry, I'll pause. I'll reset and then restart and hit run and nothing happened. My light isn't blinking. So if I pause, I can see where I am. Okay, I'm in something weird. If I run it a little longer, you should see we end up in a data abort handler. So this is an issue that uh, is pretty unfortunate, but the good thing is it's really easy to work around. Um, if you just soft reset uh, using the button on the launch pad, you should be okay. So I'm just going to hit, uh, hit play, soft reset, and then yeah, now I'm back at my break point. So I'm, I'm paused, like my code execution is paused here, and now I can hit play, and now I'm blinking, and should have received another Orcasat thing. If I re, uh, sorry, soft reset again using the button, you can see we, we got Orcasat started and then we're back at our breakpoint. So the takeaway from this is the buttons in CCS don't work for resetting and that's it. I think it's an issue with the reset handler that uh, Halkagen creates for us. So long story short, use the reset button on the board and you'll be fine. And it, it maintains the debug connection, so it's not really all that hard to do. Um, another important thing is when you're kind of in the middle of debugging and you end up going back to write some more code or something, um, don't hit the stop button on the debug or in the debug perspective. That just, when you come back to it, it'll need to connect again and do a whole bunch of things and it's a lot slower. So it's a lot faster to just head over to the edit perspective, make your changes, hit debug and then go back instead of hitting stop every time. Um, a couple other things. It's a, a good uh, idea to go through the view menu and just see what's available to you. So. Um, We've got things like uh, expressions or variables. So if you bring up a, a variables tab, um, and I'll just go into my code and maybe I'll, I'll right click and go into this function. I don't really have any variables. If I had any variables and I uh, paused in, um, while I was debugging, so I was at a breakpoint somewhere, your variables that were in scope would show up here and you'd be able to take a look at what they were. The other thing you can do is uh, add an expression. 
So to do that, you can right click and add watch expression, give it a name, and then it will show up there and uh, you can take a look at it throughout uh, your execution. One last point about debugging is once you add more than six breakpoints, um, you either won't be able to add more or weird things will happen. That's just a hardware limitation. Uh, breakpoints are baked in at a very low level into the chip, and this one only supports uh, six actual hardware breakpoints. So if you need more than six, you need to, like once you get past the first one, you need to disable it and then go add your next one and just sort of keep moving down in that chain. Um, and then I guess last thing are the step into and step over or out of, I never remember the names. These buttons here, these are really useful for debugging. They'll let you go line by line through some code that you've stopped at um, as a result of a breakpoint or hitting pause. So take a look around CCS and, and see what's available to you because uh, there are a lot of good features for debugging.